guys, Megan here, and today I'm going to be doing the Confessions of a Booktuber tag. Now, I realized I've fallen really behind in doing tags, so last night I just went through all of Booktube looking for any tag that would look cool to do, and this is one of them. And I apologize for any noises in the background. My nephew decided to come down and keep me company. So, without further ado, here is the Confessions of a Booktuber tag, and I will be linking the original video down below. I am really bad remembering names, so I am sorry I, for any of the tags I do. I am very rarely going to be able to remember the original tagger off the top of my head, but no matter what, I will be linking their video down in the description bar. And, yeah! And I'm not looking at my computer as I am looking at the questions, because I will get distracted beyond all belief, so I have my trusty notebook here with the questions. Question 1 is, what editing software do you use? Since I am a poor college student, I use Windows Movie Maker, and I hate it with a burning, burning passion. Question number two. How many hours a week do you spend filming and editing? This varies week to week. Sometimes it depends on how many books I have read and, and, you know, how bad I am at procrastinating. Sometimes I... Don't, I don't usually film right after I finish a book. I usually wait because I don't have time. And by that point, I usually have another book or two to film a review for. And, yeah, it can vary. Um, I'd say at least an hour or two a week, at the very, very least. Sometimes it's more, like this week, I'm pretty sure I'm putting, like, maybe five hours worth into filming and editing at least. Question number three is, do you film things in one take or does it take multiple tries? Usually I try to do one take because I, I'm a college student and I work part time so I don't have as much time as I would like. Though of course if I look back on something and I realize it is horrible and I just am not happy with it, I will redo it. So it, it depends. Question number four is, when is it easiest for you to film? Usually in the morning when there's no one else home, that will make me as loud and obnoxious as I wish. But since I am not a morning person, it doesn't work out well, especially since most of my mornings are either me getting ready for school or me getting ready for work. And the few days I have off and I can film in the morning is when everyone else is home too. So it's like, it's a pain. Question number five is something awkward that you do while filming. I do lots of odd pauses in my video that I try and edit out so it makes the video look kind of choppy. I also fidget a lot and just... I nervously fidget. Question 7? Oh, huh, I almost skipped a question. Question 6. One quote from a book that you love. I'm going to pick something really recent and say, A DEMON POX ON YOUR HOUSES! From A Clockwork Prince. I, I don't know why I love that part of the book so much I find it, find it funny and it makes me laugh out loud every time I read it. So apparently that's my favorite quote. Question 7 is what video viewers are you the most proud of? Uh, I have to say none of them because I don't feel any of my videos are extremely extraordinary I guess. I am my own worst critic so Part of me is never happy with whatever I put out, be it a video or writing or an essay. So, I can't really say there's a video I'm the most proud of. Question 8 is, how long do you take to get ready to film? Usually not long. I maybe one time spent 5 minutes, but that was because I was talking as I was putting my makeup on. What was the last booktube video that you have watched? And I would have to say... Oh my god, what was the last video I watched? I think it was one of Poland Banana's books. Um, I think it might have been one of her book reviews, book talks. I It was late last night, so I'm totally blanking. Question 10 is, what is your favorite booktube video of all time? This one is much easier. It's um, Poland Banana Books, her Clockward Princess book review, and just... I loved it and just, I love watching her videos. What is one book that you hated that everyone else seemed to love? That is question 11. And I don't think there's anything recently. Was there? 
No, I don't think there was anything recently. Um, the only one that pops out in my head is Twilight. I remember not... I didn't hate it when I first read it. I disliked it. It wasn't my thing. I found it an entertaining read to kill time because I had nothing else better to do. But I definitely did not like it. But everyone else at my high school, excluding maybe a couple friends of mine, loved the book. And it's just like, oh, all right. Question number 12 is, who are your booktube friends? I don't have a lot of friends on booktube. I would love to be friends with more people, like actual friends, not just a watcher, viewer, a person. But yeah, I like friends. I like friends. But I have a feeling that I'm just one of those people that other people look and being like, ugh, that girl commented on my video again? She is so weird. Why is she? Why won't you leave me alone? I don't know. The paranoid part of my brain thinks I am that person. The person being talked about, I mean, not the person doing the talking. Question number 13 is what booktuber slash YouTuber would you just die if they subscribe to you? Do you want a list? Because there is a list. There is quite a long list. But, um, I believe the top two, I'm just going to limit it to booktubers. Because, yeah, otherwise that list would be extremely long. <laughs> but, so far... I'm actually happy whenever I see anyone subscribe to me just because it's like, yay, they like my stuff enough to actually want to see what I have to say. But if two booktubers that I would absolutely die if I saw them subscribe to my videos are Catastic and Pull and Banana Books, I would just have a mini fangirl spaz attack if I saw them subscribe to me one day. So, yeah. That is my Confessions of a Booktuber question thingy. And yeah, so that's it. So I guess I will see you guys later.